strength unknown. These soldiers don't take Al Shabaab lightly. Ambushes, roadside bombing, assassination. A patrol into their area has to be carefully planned. African nations, including Kenya, have for years been fighting the Islamist militants. They've made some headway, but Al Shabaab control vast areas of Somalia. This is the front line, a derelict building that's regularly used as cover to fire on the African Union troops is thoroughly checked. If the joint African force had more soldiers, it would try to take this position permanently, but it's stretched. They normally attack you at night or what? At night. All the attacks have been at night. They'll come, they would be at this particular location, start firing out, down to us. So the only thing that can you know, protect us here is patrols. We we'll dominate the area and try to push them back to their, 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 their normal place. Just up this road, there are trenches that are used by Al-Shabaab at night to shoot at the African Union soldiers, and the armoured vehicle's just gone ahead to clear the road. These trenches with sandbags show that Al-Shabaab uses some of the methods of a regular army, as well as mounting terror attacks. The soldiers go into their enemy's territory. Uh, no enemy, no enemy, over. This is the place from where attacks are launched against the African forces. But the fighters have left. I spoke to some of the people who live here. These soldiers say that this village is full of Al-Shabaab. Is that, is that true? Al-Shabaab, what you got? Al-Shabaab are everywhere. They are here. They are in Kismayu, in Mogadishu, and now Nairobi. See what's happening there now. And that's the danger. Unless the war in Somalia is resolved, it could continue to be a cause of chaos and terror around the world. Mark Doyle, BBC News, Southern Somalia.